This is Realme 10 Pro Plus and today I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So for start let me show you how you can set up the fingerprint recognition option. So launch settings, then enter the password and security category, tap at the fingerprint field, continue, choose what uh, backup screen unlock method you want to go with it. So I'll go with pattern. Tap at the continue option, draw the pattern that uh, you would like to use, then redraw it to confirm. After that, we can start and roll in the fingerprint. As you can see, the scanner is located underneath the display at the like, lower part of it. So gradually lay and lift your finger onto the sensor until the entire surface of your finger will be scanned. Already, all is done. Now we can uh, test it out and see how well it works. As you can see, it does not let me uh, go through with another finger and the unlock happens, well, relative, I mean, rather swiftly, so works just fine if you ask me. The next function for today uh, is discoverable at the display and brightness category. It is called the uh, screen refresh rate. So in here there are three values to choose from. You can either go with standard value of 60 Hz and conserve power or well, decrease the battery usage. You can set it, uh, set the value to 120 Hz and get smoother and silkier animations and operations or set it to be automatically selected by system. So for each scenario will uh, get its own higher however i mean refresh rate in general so you will not have to manually switch it so i recommend that you just set it in the automatic mode and forget about it uh, the next option is located at the wallpapers and style category it is a very well known always on display feature which you can enable by turning in well tapping on the turn on button then in here you can customize it a little so for example you can turn on or turn off the music playback. Then see what apps support this musical playback. While getting back to the general uh, AOD page out of contextual info section, you can also change uh, the information that will be shown at the AOD. Decide whether you would like to receive new notifications on it at what mode it will be displayed. You can also change its visual appearance, so set some emoji, create a canvas out of the picture, apply custom patterns, which you can draw yourself, or get the AOD picture from one of the system provided images. Already moving onwards, the next feature is a very useful one. Uh, it's a rather cool one as well. So open settings, enter Realme Lab category and go for the heart rate measurement. So the, the fact that the uh, screen or excuse me, the fingerprint sensor is located underneath the screen, it can also used, be used for measuring your heart rate or how many bits per minute you have your pulse. So in here, just hold your finger onto the fingerprint sensor for say time. In my case, it was 15 seconds and you'll get the result, how many uh, bits per minute you get. So a very cool feature for the ones that want to monitor their health and do not have some smartwatch that also, that can measure this, uh, that can measure the heart rate instead of this option. And fifth and final feature for today, you can find it at about device category, go into the RAM. It is called the RAM expansion and it allows you to increase your random access memory for respectively 4, 6 or 8 gigabytes. In order to activate it, just turn the switch on, choose for how many gigabytes you would like to expand your RAM. 
I'll go with ma the maximum value of 8. And in order for those changes to take effect, you need to restart the, restart the device. And after your phone gets rebooted, you'll get additional random access memory. Alrighty, so that will be not only for the final tip, but for this video in general. We highly appreciate your attention. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.